Hey guys, real quick before this video, uh, I did want to kind of go over, as the title suggests, this really isn't any car content or anything. This is really just an update because I know it's been a few weeks and specifically for subscribers that have been following along, wondering what's going on, I just want to give you guys a quick update. Uh, this was meant to be a short video, it ended up going longer than I anticipated. And if you don't want to watch the whole thing, you just kind of want to get certain bits, I want to kind of break it down for you real quick. So, basically, my subscribers fall into two categories. Category one is my wife. Category two is people who are not my wife. All right. Category one people tend to only care about the scenes that have to do with Enzo and Lotus. Category two people may enjoy those scenes, but mostly care about stuff that have to do with cars. If you fall into category one, the first eight-ish minutes, you're going to love. If you fall into category number two, and if the camera's shaking right now, it's because of Enzo and Lotus. If you fall into category two, you're going to mostly like the stuff that's passed around the eight-minute mark. That's going to have to do with the Evo, a brief Evo update, channel update, why I haven't had videos in a couple weeks. So by all means, you can watch both parts. If you like the pups and you like cars, but if you mostly just like the pups, then the beginning portion. If you mostly just like the cars, then the end portion. But overall, this video isn't that exciting. It's just mostly an update. So with that being said, I hope you guys do find some enjoyment. Why is there a dog slobber on my hat? How is that even possible? All right, it's 6.50 a.m. It's freezing out obviously really dark <laughs> despite it being very cold out probably not gonna be here for too long sit <laughs> okay so um, I'm first if the audio is terrible. I am very sorry. I Stopped at a hardware store tried to get I Stopped at a hardware store and tried to get a Way to mount the mic to this new gimbal and Long story short, I couldn't make it work. I'm gonna have to actually order a proper mount mounting screw the gimbal is actually why we're down here though. I wanted to uh, test this out. The wife got this for me yesterday. Come. Sit. Good sit. And so heel. All right. Oh. I don't know that there's any gimbal that can compensate for a Lotus point on the leash. But we're gonna find out. Uh, this isn't a product review test, but this is my test of this. So I figured we'd do something fun today and just go to a park. The reason we chose this park is because coincidentally enough, I came to this very park with Enzo one year ago today. It was on the same day, which is weird. So I figured we'd do that. Lotus. All right, well, uh, we almost got hit by traffic because Lotus pulled me on the wrong side. Wow, this is uh, very slippery. Did didn't intend to didn't intend to come here. Wow, it's snowing slash raining. Weather said it was going to do this later, so figured we'd get here right at sunrise. But apparently, it came early. There's nothing there to bark at. I'm pretty certain he's barking at those statues. All right, if the uh, field of view gets screwed up a lot, like it is right now, that isn't necessarily because of the gimbal. That could partially be because Lotus is pulling me and I don't know what I'm doing with this.
Oh, go pee pee, Enzo. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get most of these shots because it seems like every time I look at it, it's not really doing what I think it's going to do. Careful. Enzo. Your name's not Enzo, but okay. So I'm not really wearing gloves. I mean, I have these like latex ones on so I can have something, but I figured it would be too much in an unfamiliar park with an unfamiliar gimbal to actually have gloves on. So I left them in the car and I'm thinking that was a mistake now. It's way colder than it seemed. the random ferris wheel they built boys let's go this way lotus come nobody here usually there's always like people walking or bicycling or taking their dogs none of that today we're not gonna go that way because that bridge scares the crap out of Enzo that is a model of the uh, Brooklyn Bridge basically they built that one first as a test the Roebling Bridge All right, this is gonna be an abbreviated test because uh, I can barely feel my fingers at this point. It's a terrible idea. Enzo. Lotus, come. cry. Break. And up. Yep. Watch out Lotus, there's a BMW coming, you just, you never know. Alright, let's go. Well, the good thing is we'll be in and out in under an hour, so only $3 for parking. Why would you pay for parking when you could get on-street parking for free or virtually nothing? You try loading two pups on the street, see how safe that is. And back up, back up, Bubba. And so, back up, my hands are so cold. Okay, as I was saying, we are gonna head home now because I am freezing. I'll probably play around with this some more, see if I can figure it out, because clearly I am not very good with it.
can't use the luggage rack or the storage area because of uh, Enzo. Oh, you getting comfy to play with ball? All right, I'm still learning this gibble, which is why I missed that shot, but basically it looked like a military bomber plane. This thing was so low, I'm not exaggerating, I could have thrown a baseball and hit it. There is an airport really close by, and we actually sit quite a bit higher than it, so it's not uncommon for planes to be really low to us, actually. All right, I backed in so Enzo could watch me keep an eye on but now I can't really get out and unload so I'm kind of just waiting for this truck in the meantime I'm gonna try to calibrate this thing okay didn't actually have time to calibrate before that person got done so I did reposition the camera though so maybe that'll help okay so the point of this video was actually three points the first is to and there goes the gibble The first is to test the gibble, which I think I've determined I need to calibrate again or for the first time. I don't even know. I thought it did it when it came on, but evidently I don't think it did. Um, the second one is give you guys an Evo update. There's going to be some videos on this stuff coming, but basically... I got some suspension stuff worked out that I didn't even truly know was broken or well I mean I knew it was broken but what I thought was broken was wrong I got the new wheels and tires on and it is back of the shop we're still having a misfire issue or a detonation issue something I don't know um, so they're doing some more in-depth testing with that again like I said I'll have some videos on this stuff coming but for you subscribers I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on with that because this video is going to air before there's other videos that I've shot. The third thing is what I, what most of this video is about and that is basically just being thankful, not, well I mean it is Thanksgiving, but that wasn't really the reason for doing this video. I was thinking about doing this video in a couple weeks. It just kind of, I needed something to mess around with the gimbal for so I knew I was going to do this video anyways, might as well just do it now. Basically back in January, I told my wife that I was going to put some actual effort into YouTube. I have an entrepreneurial personality, so for me it's all about goals and numbers. And having really no point of reference, that was right when they changed all the uh, monetization rules for, you had to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours I think that's the main rules so not knowing really where I wanted the target I figured well a thousand subscribers I don't know what that's gonna take but four thousand watch hours I can kind of math that out a little bit uh, based on you know if I can get X amount of views for X amount of minutes percentages and so forth and I came up with this like whole formula basically of how many videos I was gonna have to do and and so forth that try to help keep me motivated and everything as it turns out that goal was a little um, short because I hit 4,000 watch hours back in uh, April or May I think which completely shocked me um, to be honest when I made the 4,000 when I made the 4,000 goal again you know I was just using that number as a starting point I didn't really know what to go with You know, YouTube just kind of told me what the numbers were. So I was like, all right, well, those are the numbers I'm going to shoot for. Wow. I swear I'm not touching it when it does that. <laughs> and like, I can't figure out what it is I'm doing. Like I said, it's got to be a calibration issue. So uh, I more than hit those, and I didn't think I would do that that quickly. So for me, you know, having a subscriber goal seemed like a really hard thing. I mean, how can you predict if somebody's going to hit a little button or not? I'm sure there are smart people out there that can, but I, I'm not that. So I just figured that would just come as it did, and it, and it has been. So I'm thrilled with that. I mean, we're over, we're close on, in on 600, which I'm just amazed by. And I know for the 
quote unquote real YouTubers out there, you know, that's nothing. They get that in a day added to their bottom line. But for me, that's, that's a lot. So I greatly appreciate that. I hope you guys are getting usefulness out of the videos and maybe getting some entertainment value, just overall enjoying them. And I just appreciate you guys all. And as always, if you guys have questions or anything about the car, about Evos specifically, any of that good stuff, you know, always feel free to leave those below or message me on Instagram. The last couple weeks, not only have I not been uploading videos, but I've been really bad about responding in a timely manner to comments or really anything. Even Instagram, I don't even think I've posted anything on Instagram in like two weeks. I've been just so busy. Don't want you guys to get the impression that I'm not taking it serious. It's just, it's one of those situations where right now work comes first, obviously, and we're drifting. And that's just kind of the way it had to be. So if you haven't figured out, I do have a lot of stuff coming for the Evo in 2019. Uh, not only do I hope to iron out all the kinks, but maybe once those are done, can even start slowly modding and such. Just, you know, small things here and there to really just improve the car. Not going for anything crazy. Just want to get it back closer to what I had when I had my Evo 9 back in the day. With that being said, comments below, questions. Enzo's in the back. Lotus is at home, so we'll probably do a little outro here in a second. Okay, so that is going to end this video. Come on, camera. As always, questions and comments below. Instagram links for myself, Enzo, and Lotus. Maybe? No? Hmm. All right, I promise by the next time I use this, I will know what I'm doing. This won't be going like this in the future. Lotus, really? Pee in the neighbor's yard. Other thing that's been neglected is car washing. I've managed to wash the wife's car like once. Thankfully, the Evo really hasn't been driven, so that stayed clean. The FJ is such a mess inside and out, I can't even, I have to like close my eyes. So, with that being said, hope you guys, hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Come on. But we're gonna go ahead and end this video here. Appreciate you guys as always. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Enzo, say bye. Oh, gotta go pee first. Yeah, I know you will.